What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new WWE action figure setup, and it is WrestleMania 39 edition. Alright man, so it is officially time for the Wrestlemania 39 action figure setup, man. The entire arena right here is full for the show. Looking forward to it, man. I mean, I mean, I, I always look forward to it. We also got the GM's office over there for a little nice joke. And I'm looking forward to it, man. So let's shut the hell up and get into our action figure setup. We're going to break through everything, give you guys my thoughts on everything. And tomorrow, my full show predictions are coming. So we'll get into that in detail. And it should be a fun one, man. But hopefully I'm having a blast in LA as I film this. All or at least at the time of, of this video coming out. And I hope it's been a movie. I hope it's been a blast. So without further ado, man, let's start off in the GM's office and then we will get into the rest of the setup. So if we come into the GM's office and you see Triple H yelling and he's kind of pointing to get the hell out. And who is he looking at, Brad? Go ahead and guess. It's Vincent Kennedy McMahon, man. He came in there and he's like, can I please do something at Wrestlemania? And he's like, hell no, Brad, get the hell out. Get out of my face. We don't want that garbage. You got Omos and Brock. That's enough. Now get the hell out of my office. No, but seriously though, I thought that'd be a fun little joke to put in here in the setup here, but Triple H looks good in the office, man. Looking great. I like this GM's office. I'm actually in the works of creating a new one, and you guys will probably find out sooner rather than sooner rather than later while we're having a new GM's office made, but it's gonna be 20 million times better than this. Think of this Dio and this all GM's office that we've used for five six years here on the channel it's gonna be like this but on crack cocaine it's gonna be ridiculous man so when i tell you it's gonna be nice it's gonna be hella nice man i cannot wait to show you guys what the finished product's gonna look like it's not something that's gonna come out tomorrow or something but it's in the works it's definitely in the works but there's vince mcmahon getting getting kicked out of the gm's office and hopefully triple h has a great wrestlemania plan for us now we come through the office door you will see the two best friends here hugging in the corner, man. So we do have some bro love right here. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn battling for the Undisputed Tag Titles versus the Usos. The storyline that has encapsulated the entire wrestling universe across all promotions doesn't really matter. These two are going to burn the damn house down with the Usos, and I'm so excited for it. So I just have the brotherly love here represented. I hope they capture the championships at WrestleMania. Fantastic story. Fantastic work by all involved. I love Kevin Owens more than Sami Zayn. I know I'm saying that in there, but that's my boy right there. That's top five performer in the world. If we come forward a little bit, you do have Brock Lesnar with his towel. I just like the way this figure looks with a towel, especially walking around. I think he's in for a good workout at WrestleMania. He should be able to take care of Omos. Not really a match I'm looking forward to, to be honest with you, but I love Brock Lesnar. I like his figures a lot, so I'm just hoping for a great showing from him. Hope he takes care of the trash, and we, uh, you know, we. And may, I mean, maybe it'll be better than we think, but I'm not going into it Holding my breath, you know what I mean? But there's Brock Lesnar, and he's got his towel looking pretty damn good. If we come beyond that, man, we do have Cody Rhodes with his wife, Brandy, and they are embracing because he's trying to finish the story. Also, they do have, like, a new t-shirt releasing that's going to be, like, a WrestleMania exclusive with the entrance coat, with the plant the flag, and it's got finish the story on it. I'm going to try to achieve and retrieve that shirt at WrestleMania Access. And actually, my flight leaves in like three or four hours at the time of recording this. And as soon as I land in LA, I gotta go over to the Superstore. So as soon as, it's kind of wild, at the time I'm filming this video, I'll blink and I'll be retrieving that shirt. Anyway, I hope Cody can finish the story, even though if Roman Reigns wins, I don't think I'll be that upset, but I do want Cody Rhodes to, I don't know, I don't know if I want him to win. Do I want him to win? Right here we have Logan Paul on the phone with Seth Rollins. I just got him talking some shish before their matchup at WrestleMania, so he does have the cell phone in his hand. He's FaceTiming Logan Paul there. We don't have the Logan Paul Ultimate in our, in our possession just yet, so I just figured I'd have... You know, Seth Rollins represented here doing his thing. Coming forward, we have the triple threat match represented in the setup, man. This is one of the matches I'm most looking forward to. I think these three guys are going to beat the hell out of each other, man. Going to be a show. Going to be a fantastic matchup. This matchup right here might be best match of the year for 2023, and it's really early on. So I'm just, I'm just so excited for this, man. I think all three men are going to just bludgeon the hell out of each other, and I can't wait for every second. Coming just beyond them, we do have Damian Priest and Dominic Mysterio. Damian Priest giving him a little shoulder rub there, trying to hype him up for his matchup with his father at WrestleMania. Rey Mysterio versus Dom Mysterio. Again, not really, I mean, I guess I'm kind of invested in it. I just, I like the prison gimmick that Dom's been doing. I'm not really a big fan of Dom, but he's kind of earned a little bit of respect for me as far as character work, so I look forward to his match with Ray, and I'm, I'm just excited for it. I, I, I just want, I'm interested to see where it goes, okay? That's kind of where I am. And we come just beyond that, you will see John Cena telling Austin Theory that he can't see him, and I think that's brilliant. 
because he's going to be able to not see him at WrestleMania, man. I hope John Cena comes in there, takes the U.S. Championship, and says, you can't see me for real, and he just he, and he takes the title off of him. I would love nothing more than to see that. That's the GOAT for me. That's my all-time favorite, and I hope he, uh, I, I, I don't know. But all I'm going to say is get out the golden shovel, you know what I mean? This is actually one of my favorite things I've ever done in a setup. You have Demon Finn Balor here. You guys know that he's battling Edge in the Hell in a Cell. I actually think that this is so unique. I got like this pen or this paint marker and it could be like body paint and this assistant or this, you know, this wardrobe or makeup lady is applying the demon paint to Finn Balor. I know it's Lita, but it kind of looks like somebody that would do makeup or whatever backstage costume design at WWE. And it just looks really cool, her putting the body paint onto Finn Balor, and I thought that was kind of unique. So that's kind of, I think that's my favorite part of the of the entire setup. If I, had to, if I had to make one pick, it would be that one. Are we going to just be on the triple threat? We do have Edge. Speaking of Demon Finn Balor, we have his wife trying to get in his ear and tell him that he can do it. He's battling the demon inside hell in a cell. Is he going to be able to get out of there? We're going to have to find out, man. It should be an intriguing matchup. I'm looking forward to it a lot. I hope that I'm actually there to see that one in person. I'm only going to night one as of recording. Could be going to night two. We'll see, but I just hope that I get to see it. I want to see the Hell in a Cell matchup with Edge and Finn Balor, but we'll have to see. You know, that remains to be seen, but it should be a fun, entertaining matchup regardless if I am there live or not. Just beyond that, we do have Omos talking to MVP. MVP saying, you can beat Brock Lesnar and him, you know, deep in Omos's mind. He knows, he know the hell I cannot. You know, he, he knows it deep and down inside. He knows he can't beat the bro he can't beat the Beast Incarnate, and he shouldn't. You know, he should not. He shouldn't even come close. That would probably be a bigger upset than Brock over Undertaker when the streak ended. That's a joke, but seriously, though, Omos defeating Brock Lesnar would shock the hell out of me, is what I'm trying to say. Come forward a little bit, man. We have the injury tent, or we have the, uh, you know, the stretcher over here, the hospital bed. Randy Orton and AJ Styles missing out on WrestleMania. They did not end up getting cleared, at least at time of recording. You know, I guess it is possible that they could make a surprise entry at the show, but I don't think the cards are, uh, I don't think that's going to be in the cards for this year. So AJ Styles and Randy Orton are both over here chatting it up and chilling, and that's why AJ Styles doesn't have gloves on, man. He's got his gear on, you know, just in case, but uh, I wanted to make it a little bit more realistic and give him the, you know, the gloveless hands. And then you have Rey Mysterio over here also talking with him. Two, you know, three older gentlemen getting up there in age, probably getting close to calling it quits. Maybe not Randy Orton. You know, he's getting up there, but he, he probably has a good few years in the tank. But nonetheless, you got three guys chatting it up. And then ending our setup, man, we have the whole entire bloodline, I guess, outside of Solo. But here is the Tribal Chief looking at his clock, counting down the minutes to where he takes on Cody Rhodes. Very confident individual. He's ready to go in there and do war. He's got. He's not even dressed for battle just yet, man. He's got his joggers on. He's got his his t-shirt, his man bun, and then you got his advocate with his championships, and then you have his brothers, the Bloodline, with their championships in their black joggers, ready to go. Very clean aesthetic right here. I like the way the Roman figure looks. Looking at the watch, I I just think that's a bad a look. That's Instagram post worthy. And so I'll definitely be doing that. But that is our complete setup, man. That is the full backstage area, completely full of WrestleMania superstars that are performing. Some missed the cut. You know, I do feel bad because I didn't have as much room as I usually do. But it's because there's a lot of things moving around and going on since I am going out of town. But nonetheless, man, that is going to wrap up our WrestleMania 39 full show setup and ready to go. But that's pretty much going to wrap up our WrestleMania 39 setup, man. Hope you guys did enjoy. Huge shout out to our patrons that make this MDT YouTube channel possible man if you guys are interested in there if you guys are interested in becoming a patron member definitely go check it out over there i'd greatly appreciate it link in the description below but i'm getting out of here man thank you for watching subscribe to the channel follow me on instagram twitter and tiktok at my damn toys i'll see you guys in the next video have a blessed one and i'll see you next time we'll never